Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I will be reviewing a newest launch lipsticks uh, from the brand Nika. Now to let you all know what is Nika. Nika is an online beauty uh, store where you can buy a lot of uh, drugstore as well as high-end makeup. So yeah, Nika has launched the uh, so matte uh, lipsticks and they have about 18 shades in this range. So. Uh, they have eight lipsticks from the regular range and they have eight lipsticks from the fall range so I went ahead and buy the fall lipstick so I have all the eight sheets with me so if you want to know how, uh, about the lipsticks and if you want to know the review on these lipsticks please keep on watching so these lipsticks retail for 3.99 rupees for 4.2 grams of product which is not a bad you get a good amount of product at a very cheap and affordable price so yeah it's definitely steal for the price it's definitely a steal for the price coming on to the claims what does the nika claims so yeah it uh, so the nika so matte lipstick range claim lipstick claims you have got a new favorite matte lipstick. This long lasting texture gives you pout worthy lips in one stroke. It effortlessly glides on your lips, giving you a gorgeous soft matte finish. Pucker up and party with our de delectable matte lipsticks. So this is what the uh, the Nika claims uh, for a lipstick. So it claims to be a matte lipstick. Okay, so starting off uh, with the review, so I'm going to review the Nika So Matte Lipsticks. So these comes in this cute little cardboard box packaging like this. I really like the cardboard box packaging. It's so girly and it's so uh, feminine. I really like the packaging of this one. When you open this, you see a lipstick inside. This is how uh, the lipstick looks. It has a brand name written on here and it has a color coded sticker here. And uh, this is how the uh, packaging looks looks like i really like the packaging but i have kind of love hate relationship with this packaging now uh, starting off with the love so product this is kind of different packaging it has a magnetic lid like here and uh, yeah and what i hate about this that it's uh, although the plastic is a super duper lightweight but uh, the packaging is kind of bulky so when you keep the product into your purse definitely it's gonna take a lot of space in your purse so this is what i hate about the packaging but the packaging is very nice and different from the regular lipsticks that you try on so i really like this magnetic lid so yeah now coming on to the review like they have about eight shades in this range um, all the uh, all the shades in this range is very fall it's up it's good for winters they're very dark and kind of a vampy lips it's different from the regular reds and pinks that you tried so in the previous collection they had covered up all the pinks but in this eight collection these are all dark like a maroon or a dark brown kind of shade purple shades so yeah i really wanted to try something different now to let you all know that i'm not a person who likes like super duper dark brown or uh, super duper dark or uh, red yeah i love do i do love red lipsticks i do love dark lipsticks i do love dark lipsticks but these are a little more darker than what i was expecting it to be uh, so yeah this was it for the uh, shades they have eight shades now coming on uh, to the claims, now Nika claims this lipstick to be a matte lipstick but unfortunately it is not true. It is not a matte lipstick, it goes on creamy on the lips. Uh, it's a uh for me, it is more of a creamy lipstick. It glides on very smoothly and buttery on the lips. Uh, for me, it's a creamy lipstick. It glides on very smoothly. And then after some time, it turns into a semi-matte finish. So definitely, this is not a matte lipstick. So the claims that Nika does that it's a matte lipstick, it is not. The staying power of these lipsticks are long. That it's a dark color. It stays on for five to six hours, and after that, it leaves a beautiful stain on your lips, which I really like. So yeah, to know. Um, so I will be uh, doing a demo. Okay. Lastly, I would like to say it's a decent lipstick. It's nothing that I would uh, really rave about, or it's not that bad either. It's decent for me. It's something that you know. I can wear it so yeah I'm just say that I love this lipsticks completely but I neither hate them so yeah if you want to know how this lipsticks looks on me please keep on watching here's the demo 
So the first lipstick is Melted Wine and this is how it looks on me. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to uh, apply another lipstick. So the other lipstick that I have applied is a Spice Cannabis and this is a beautiful brown shade. Take it off and I'm going to apply another lipstick. So this is the Irish Coffee. It's a beautiful brown shade. This is the lightest shade in the collection and I really like this color. It's more on a very soft side. So the fourth lipstick I'm going to use is Caramel Margarita. Caramel Margarita, I just don't know what it is. This is also another little darker than the Irish Coffee. This is very true rich brown shade. So the other shade is Hot Shot Espresso. So I'm going to apply this on my lips. I love this shade, this is more of an orangish a brown shade, something unique and something different from what I regular wear. So the other shade I'm going to apply is California Merlot. This is again, again a deep wine shade. As you can see this has stained my lips horribly. I'm going to apply some powder. Just to make sure that you see the true, true color on my lips. So the other color that I'm going to apply is a cranberry sangria. This is again a deep red shade. Sugar is sugar plum martini. This is a deep purple shade. Yeah, so that was it for the uh, lip swatch for the Nika So Matte Fall lipsticks. I hope you all like these swatches and you like the review as well. If you do, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe down to my channel. And um, do let me know what you feel about these uh, lipsticks and what's your favorite shade uh, from this range. So yeah, my favorite shade from this range by the way is Hot Shot Espresso and Malted Wine. These are the two shades that I see myself wearing a lot, like a lot. 
so yeah that was it for the review guys and, I and lastly if you want me to do any review from my site do let me know in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to do it for you all bye bye